This meeting is at the instance of the EFCC chairman to appreciate civil society organizations for their assistance in the fight against corruption and to canvass more partnerships. The EFCC chair says more than 70% of the petitions currently being investigated were submitted by CSOs. Olukoyedi says Nigeria must align its battles against corruption with its national economic development. He cites an instance of the Halliburton scandal and Nigeria's inability to leverage on justice awarded. The, the fraud was perpetrated in Nigeria. The personnel were here. The discoveries was made here. We deployed our resources and all of that to carry out the investigation. Now the report was given to FBI to investigate more and to invite the public by virtue of the provision of the FCBA Act. As I'm talking to you, I got an update last week that the American government had raked in over three billion dollars in terms of fine and penalties from that case. Not one fabric, not one dime came to Nigeria. So when you just suppose our position with yes, what have we gained as actually as a nation? The EFCC chairman is also promising to refocus the commission's mandate by using the anti-corruption fight to create jobs, employment and improve social services. According to him, Activities like freezing of accounts of companies under investigation is often counterproductive and could have negative impact by leading to unemployment. The commission revealed that as of 2018, over 1 trillion naira funds of persons and companies being investigated were frozen in various banks, leading to the collapse of some company operations. Youths are jobless all over the place. And I'm a, I'm a corruption fighter using government money, I mean public money to fight corruption and at the same time, I'll use the instrumentality of my operations to shut down businesses. We are changing away from that completely. Completely. <laughs> now, don't let us misconstrue my mindset or the mindset of the management of that is uh, senior chief. We are not, if we discover companies that are deliberately set up to destroy our economy, to exploit us, we are going to shut it down. The Commission further promised to be professional and sophisticated in its operations by reviewing guidelines for arrest, detention, and bail of suspects and applying caution to the indiscriminate marking of properties under investigation. Ferdinand Durohar, Arise News.